If you want to check for a collision in Unity but you don't want to create a collision which stops objects, you can use a trigger. Triggers are often used to detect whether an object is within a certain 3D space. For example, in this scene, I have a box using a rigid body that drops onto a platform in blue. That platform stops it from moving because it's a solid normal collider. It has a box collider as you can see here. However, if you look on a collider component, you can see the is trigger tick box. If you tick this box, objects will pass directly through. The useful thing about that is that you can use those kind of triggers to create a collision that people can't see. So you could check whether a character is in a certain area. For example, if we switch off the renderer for the platform by unticking the box, you can still see the outline once we've got the object selected in green, that's its collider. But if I press play now, it will pass through and we couldn't tell uh, that anything had happened. So what we can do is check for this collision. So I can say, create a script. I'll call this trigger and edit it. And similar to the previous one we looked at on collision enter, this one is called on trigger enter. And into that we have to pass a variable, I'm going to call it my trigger, and it has to be of type collider. So it checks what collider it has interacted with. So we might check for a trigger collision with the object called box. That's the object that's falling down. So I'd say if my trigger dot game object dot name is equal to box then debug dot log box went through so we'd pass that message to the console if another box passes through or if an object with the name box goes into that trigger so let's save that and try it out all I need to do is apply that script to the platform and make sure my platform does have is trigger ticked on its collider. So now when I press play, when the box passes through, you'll see in the console a message saying box went through. Like that. And that's basic usage of triggers in Unity.